Jason, when we come back. Ow! Jesus! That's coming up after these messages. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Up the Guy, and welcome back to Not For Broadcast, mate. It's day 15, it's a late night. You arrive home after another long shift to find a note waiting for you in the countertop. You recognize Sam's hurried scroll. Chris has been evicted for not paying rent. You know where this is headed. Sam's going to pick up Chris or stuff and find the street. It's difficult to talk with a fucking mouthful of potatoes. Don't wait up. Underline twice. So this is your fault now, is it? You sulkily press play in the cheap horror film you were going to watch together. It used to absolutely terrify you as a kid, but always makes the two of you laugh. And now you realize that as an adult, nothing is scarier than just living. <laughs> it's not the same without Sam, but you still chuckle yourself occasionally. Just as you get to the good bit, the part where Candy decides to investigate aloud, your 14 year old son interrupts. He wants to go to a friend's house. He looks at you in a way only a child can, pleading, but somehow defiant. Oh, please, Daddy. Please, I so ever want to go to Jeffrey's house. It would make me so ever so happy, Daddy. Oh, please, Daddy. You let him go as long as he promises to be home by 11. You tell Charlie no. Ah, yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Child can do what he wants. Clearly surprised, he practically races out the door. Oh, thank you, Daddy. You really are the best Daddy, Daddy. You doze off in front of the movie, waiting for his return. You start awake as the sound of the TV static. It's gone midnight, there's no sign of Charlie. Or Sam. It's a school night and he promised. So you go over there and march him home. You're tired and in a bad mood, you trust Charlie he'll be home soon. I said by 11. Arriving at the friend's house, you find your son, who miraculously notices the time when he sees you. He may think you were born yesterday, but at least he apologizes. That's something. You recognize that cheeky, mischievous look. You can't help but let him off this time. Oh, Daddy, I'm so ever so sorry. I did not realize the time for me and Jeffrey were having a grand old time. We were frolicking and dancing in the meadow. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Daddy! This is just an excuse for me to do voices again. Holy fuck! A tight Christmas. Do I ever get to do the broadcast again, or is it just this from now on? Oh god, I thought that was somebody's feet hanging in front of the fire. My god. Oh, good dirty beans! Hold on, will ye, alright? I've only woken up. You can't help but crack a smile as you look around the table. The snow is settled on the grass outside. The kids are pulling a cracker while your elderly mother tries to keep her eyes open. You did always have a soft spot for Christmas. You're sitting at the head of the table now, your dad's place. It's been a tense afternoon. Everyone can feel it. It's the first time you've seen Chris since you refused to part with your passport. I think that that was a delightful decision on your part. If you're going to give him your passport, he's going to commit identity theft. An identity theft is not a joke, Jim. It's a big change for Sam. The two siblings used to be inseparable. Christmas is usually such a nice time of year. The clatter of cutlery is all that can be heard as Chris stares pointedly at you. Are you having a nice Christmas, Grandma? You make a toast. Let's make a toast! Here, here! Ah, oh, yes! Everybody! I made to say! Merry Christmas, everyone! I'm glad we're all here! There are murmurs of cheers and much clinking of glasses. Chris doesn't move. Yeah, we're all here. No thanks to you. <gasps> the knife! It twists! Ah! Good punch! Chris? Sigh Sam. Come on now, it's Christmas. Can't we put that behind us? I wasn't talking to you. Sam's right, let's try and enjoy ourselves. Chris turns away from you. Taking some frustration out on a cheap cut of roast chicken. Your daughter, Susie, fucking grand old lass, seizes the opportunity to call to you. You know how you love me, Daddy. You chuckle. This sounds familiar. I'm not gonna like this, am I? You joke. Susie rolls her eyes. You know me and my friends are planning on going travelling this year. Susie begins innocently. Well, 
I was hoping you'd help me with the money, Daddy. I know that you're loaded after doing so well the first time that you went into the news broadcast, Daddy. She's interrupted by Chris who makes a derisive snow. <laughs> That's not a derisive snow, but you get the picture. Merry Christmas, you fucks. I wouldn't hold your breath, Suze. Not known for your generosity, are you, Alex? Ooh! One, two! In the guts for your fraudster bullshit brother! Chris, do us all a favor and shut your mouth. Ignoring Chris, you smile at your daughter. Yeah, put him in his fucking place! Oh, Jesus. You know what? Let me make this easier for you. Chris spits, heading for the door. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Sam is standing now, too. Oh, nice, Alex. Real nice. Sam exclaims, following Chris and slamming the door. I'm sorry. Would you rather that I bottle up my feelings and then make this worse and everyone holds grudges for each other and then we never talk to each other? That's how this shit keeps going. Break the pattern. Minutes pass in silence. The cheap canned vegetables taste bitter in your mouth as the meal continues in miserable silence. The clock chimes and you realize you've been chewing a mouthful of watery carrots for about 10 minutes. Good carrots are, make you see in the dark. Won't help you go blind, that's for sure. You're so grateful when your daughter begins telling you about the plans for the year. We'll see so many parts of the world, Daddy, and learn so much about other cultures. But how are you going to pay for all this? Uh, uh, Daddy, I was hoping that you would help me. Susie admits sheepishly, suddenly intent on an itch behind her ear. You sigh and lower your voice. You know, money is really tight now that Grandma's staying here. We just don't have that much to spare, Susie. But please, Daddy, oh pretty please, I've been so good all year. Harriet's parents are helping her. Just because that they have a mansion and a Rolls Royce and 14 servants does not mean that we can't afford it either, Daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wish we could afford it, but we can't. All right, we find a way to make it work. Fuck it. Christmas cheer, Christmas spirit, fucking take a tenner, get out of chippy, buy yourself a fucking lambona. Go on, mate, do one geezer. <laughs> fucking jog on. Susie's grin stretches from ear to ear. You mean it, Daddy? That's so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy. I'm going to be so happy. Also, I want a pony, Daddy. I want to ride the pony to the moon, Daddy. She hugs you tight before pulling a cracker with her little brother. The grandma watches them proudly. You try not to think about how you're going to find the money for the trip. Merry Christmas, sweetheart, is all you can say. And thus, you took another fucking swig of your drink. Man, life's easy when you don't have to work. Welcome, Windfall. You're leafing through the pile of accumulated posts. Each new bill pulls at your gut like a lead weight until a flash of blue makes you pause. Recognize the Teal of Vals logo on the envelope, you tear it open. Dear Winston residents, thank you for sending us your passports for approval. We can now confirm the receipt and validation for the new Asset and Wealth Redemption Scheme. Hopefully this will make the last month of arguments with Sam worth it. As such, it is our- it- it's our my pleasure. <laughs> it's our my pleasure, sir, to enclose a check which we hope you will see a symbol. See as a symbol, not only of our gratitude to you, but of our unwavering commitment to creating a society free of inequality. The throbbing of your fresh speed induced paper cut is the only reason you can believe you're awake. A check! And a sizable one at that. Chris was right, events really are redistributing wealth. We will continue to strive for the betterment of this nation and its people. Forwards, together, Jewelry Salisbury and Peter Clement. The weight of your financial burdens lessens slightly. It's fucking bliss it is, mate. Oi, Sammy! Pop open the fucking bubbly! No, the fucking cheap one, not that fucking expensive shit. We're fucking made of money, are we? A long weekend. Why does the zip on this damn case never close? It's your anniversary. Every year you and Sam go away for the weekend, usually camping. <laughs> You're fucking not made of money. I fucking told you, didn't I? You fucking don't make the money, mate. How many of you fucking sick of this accent already? I don't fucking care. It's fucking sticking up for the rest of the video. You've been looking forward to it for ages. Finally getting home to some time alone together. Where you can forget about the noise of your life. No kids. No work. No fucking hemorrhoids. No boils in your ass. No hairy armpits and stinky shits. 
Just a bit of romance and some peace and quiet. The zip finally gives up the battle, and you br you drag the bulgy suitcase down the stairs. The answering machine is blinking on the hall table. Oh no. Good evening, Alex. This is Mr. Bozeman. I'm calling to inform you that you will be required to work this weekend. Your heart sinks. Some information has come to light concerning the rising tensions between our nation and foreign powers. And the national nightly news team will be working around the clock to ensure we break the story first. Needless to say, I will expect your attendance tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Have a pleasant evening, Alex. Sharp turns to a noise and a fury. You fucking punch a hole in the wall. What are you going to tell Sam? Sam comes downstairs brimming with excitement, kissing you to grab the car keys from the dish. It's starting to load your bags into the back. Ignore the message you need this weekend. Oh, shit. Do I ignore it and then go on with a lovely family outing? Or do I potentially get fired, ruin the nation because I'm not covering the news and they need Jacksepticeye's eyes on this? If I'm not there giving a mediocre performance, then who is? Apologize profusely to your spouse, but you really should go to work. Bozeman's temper is legendary. We'll get another weekend sometime. Also, I actually want to play the game part of this again. I want to play the actual news segment and not just keep reading. You saw heavily. You gotta go, aren't you? The voice behind you makes you whip around. You nod simply. Of course you are. It's too much to expect for you to put your family first for once. God forbid. I don't know why I bother, Alex. I really don't. And with that, Sam's gone. The front door swings slightly in the silence. Ah, shit. I'm in a fucking doghouse, mate. That's fine. Wait! I thought I was going to work to do the thing! Do I not actually get to do that anymore? Do I get to play the game like that at all? Again. Your son Charlie hovers at your elbows as you read. Do you find yourself striving to achieve? Wait. Who's reading this? Are you an active member of the team? Do you like reaping the benefits of cooperation? Join the fans, go get us today, forward to get one. <laughs> okay. Charlie grabs the fly from you and thrusts it a form into your hand. So I can walk this straight from school and Ben's sister could drop us home after, Daddy? So you won't have to do anything, Daddy? I swear, oh, I'll be so ever so good, Daddy. You signed a permission slip for your son to join the advanced go getters. Fuck it, why not? Somebody may as well go do what they want to do. If I knew that it wouldn't let me play the gamey, like, news part where I had to censor shit and everything again, I would have ignored the message. I would have gone on the weekend with the family. <sighs> Your son is thrilled. It's heartwarming to see him so passionate about becoming an active part of the community. This can only be a good thing. I'm off to Hogwarts, Daddy. Oh, I'm so happy, Daddy. Nimbus 3000, here I come. A profitable partnership. I need to look up to see if I can actually play this game like that again. I think I do. <clears throat> it just takes a lot of reading to get through because I'm actually reading everything out loud and characterizing it. It's just taking longer. A profitable partnership. After a particularly long day at work, you come home to find the post sorted into piles. As Sam has taken to doing recently. Most of it is the usual rubbish. But a letter with the increasingly familiar advanced logo and the urgent respond immediately plastered on the front and correspondingly urgent red font grabs your attention. Best to get it over with. Dear Winston residents, this letter is to inform you that the advanced government has taken another step forwards in our fight for equality by nationalizing the largest private corporations and redistributing the resources among the citizens of this great country. The Partnership Bonds Program ensures that wealth created by the people is delivered to the people. You don't remember this being in the manifesto? Every household will become a partner in two of four careful, carefully selected institutions chosen by advance for consistent high performance and financial security. Please note, all returns are based on public opinion and cannot be guaranteed. Please select one of the following. Eye of the Beholder Incorporated, whether it's cosmetics, clothing, or couture. We see the beauty in all of our customers. Neil's deals. It's always... So I'm basically investing. Pleasure Core. Our business is your pleasure. From sport to travel to even just some you time, you can't say pleasure without leisure. Remington Svist. We're everywhere and everything. A worldwide company for a worldwide community. Maybe this one. Become a partner in two of four, so please select one of the following. Okay, let's go with this one. And for your second bond, 
please select one of the following. Um, maybe this one. Although, cosmetics is a huge business. Yeah. Thank you for your making your selection. Please return this form using the envelope provided. You will receive a report from your partnerships in three to six working months. It seems even advanced can't defeat the quagmire of government and bureaucracy. The future of this nation is in partnership. Forwards together, Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. As how much influence could you have? This is interesting. So are the things that I actually answer and do going to make a difference on what's going on? This is kind of cool. I thought the actual news segment was going to be the majority of the game, but now I see that that's to kind of set you up for what's happening in the middle sections, which is actually really cool as well. You step out of your old car as soulless. Sam slams the door and you wince, hoping the door won't come off as hinges. You don't say anything. Now is not the time. As you approach the front desk, you feel physically sick. The police officer asks you to wait. What's happening? Eventually, after what seems like an eternity, your daughter is brought out by an officer with a calm face. She got arrested? She's a good old kid, but if we pick her up for graffiti again, we will have to charge her. You nod and apologize on Susie's behalf as Sam hugs your shell-shocked daughter. As you shake her hand, the officer lowers her voice. Keep her away from that boy and I think she'll be fine. In the car, you attempt to broach the subject, but Susie refuses to say a word. After a while, you give up your questions about who this boy might be and just drive. Hours later, you stare at the ceiling worrying. The stillness in the bedroom is the only sign that Sam is, is also wide awake. Who's Susie hanging out with? Why is she acting out? Need of you go to sleep tonight. Damn. Those boys will always cause trouble in my household. Oh, hell yeah! Are we going back into the newsroom? Want to set the world on fire. Sounds like that. I think we're going back in. Hey! Yeah, baby! Now the only problem is that it's been so long that I forget how to play. Good evening, Alex. It's Boozman here, your boss. While you're powering up and getting the adverts loaded, I thought I should just tell you that we've had one of those public information films from the government, and it's mandatory that you play it. You still have a free choice for the other two, so read those tape labels carefully, but make sure you play the advance advert, preferably in the second break. Right, that's the lot. Have a great show, total pimp. My god, that weather looks nasty. <laughs> I thought you said total pimp. Um, there we go. Okay. I am going to be really bad at this again because it's been ages since I've actually sat down and done this. This is cool, though. The problem is really awful. Ten seconds, everybody. Like I said, all of you. Did your personality actually snip out? What do I? What do I press to start? Good evening. There we go. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm All Megan right. Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Uncorrupted. Our main story. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, okay. in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking We're doing good. what this mysterious symbol might mean. Critics have been quick to dismiss the graffiti. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. That's all excellent. By a tiny disorganized group of those who will never, under any circumstances, be content. We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Ford and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. With two of the finest minds in science working okay. together. We're doing well. To the eventual return of the team to dry land. Without enough engineers. So I just need to get ready for my sensor whenever I need that. This part's easy, just picking whichever picture. I don't really know how much difference that makes. I also need to be aware of this. <laughs> I think I'll stick to risotto, Jeremy. <laughs> I think I'll yeah. stick to risotto. Jeremy. Bearing their opinions, the formerly rich are fighting back with a naked protest. Our very own Robin Short was on hand earlier today when this new protest group first presented themselves. It might seem amusing to us. But Down with this formerly overprivileged section of our society Poor? is not adjusting well to the near future. I don't know what it says. It's often too easy to forget that not every citizen is thriving under advance. Fallen angel? 
Notorious addict Johnny Hansley seems to have reached a new low. All right, this is going well so far. This recent high viewers. Johnny's star certainly lacks his former glow these days, with public concern over his mental and physical health growing at an alarming rate. Since being banned from the national squad earlier this year, after why did it say system locked for broadcast? Why did that show up? I picked my thing in time. Things seem to have gone from bad to worse for Hamsley. My viewers aren't going down at least. That's good. About to become the bad boy of sport. And onwards and upwards. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them. Okay, we're doing good. I could just use one and two, and then use space for my sensor. Space I'll use for sensor, but. It was quite a shock when it was revealed earlier today. Though its critics are skeptical. First male contraceptive pill. Described as a breakthrough. Ah, these are the ones that I've picked. Male contraceptive pill is heralding a sexual revolution. Remington's Vist. Its fans are celebrating the fact that men can finally take equal responsibility for contraception. But others have expressed concerns over its safety and side effects. With that exclusive prime ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon coming to you live from the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National Nightly News. National Nightly News. There we go. Okay. First section done. Not the best, I might add, but still okay. All right, some interference coming in. Get ready. Oh, shit, 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 shit. It goes a little faster than I remember it going. All righty then. That's good, that's good, that's good! Good job there, Bubba. First tonight, after the Christmas horror Whoops. caused by Mr. Snugglehugs, we have an exclusive interview with one of the victims. Poor seven-year-old Timmy Tadlock. Like so okay, so these are green. The Christmas bloodbath. <laughs> okay, my color deduction skills are not the greatest, so these... It changes color. I didn't realize that. They need to make that way more obvious. Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology for any part we may have played in the tragedy. We should never have advertised Mr. Snugglehugs. That our publicity, the sheer scale of this tragedy, and now upwards of 8,000 casualties, might have been averted. Okay, switching between them nicely. In future, we will do better. Now it's over to Robin Short at the Tadlock family home. Robin, thank you, Megan. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, shit, we got some stuff coming in. Thanks for spending time with us today. Yes, well, you're bloody lucky we're spending any time with you at all. But what you lot did, you're responsible. Sorry. Okay, get ready for censors. He's going to swear, I can tell. As you can see, Megan, there's still a few open wounds here. I'll tread carefully. I'm going to speak to Timmy carefully. Hello, oh, Timmy. God. Can you see He's all covered in bandages and didn't even Can see him. Who's that lady? Mommy? It's a lady from Who's television, that? Timothy. Okay, I don't have to change a few questions. screens. That's good. A few questions. Don't worry, Mr. Tadlock. I wasn't the youngest okay. ever editor of the Swinstone Medical okay. Inquirer. Okay, okay. No lots to take in, lots to concentrate on. Can you tell us what happened to you? You had just unwrapped Mr. Snugglehugs, hadn't you? Just unwrapped was he under the tree? Oh, that was yes. the toy! I could smell him already, yes. He smelled like love. Ah, uh, yes. I <laughs> smell like love! Scented with her. I was so excited. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. He was so soft and warm. Oh. Before he got in the way of Daddy's Porsche. And what did Mr. Snugglehug say to you? And what did Mr. Snugglehug say to you? Eat the rich. <laughs> Said you're my very best friend, but I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehugs was here. She can't be. Oh, because that was the toy we advertised. And then it said that maybe you shouldn't advertise it because it's dangerous. It was that Furby looking one. And is that when he burst into flames? And then he exploded. Look, I've asked you nicely. And am I right in saying that one of his real action eyes is now permanently embedded in your cheek? Yes. Oh my god. When I took him in at night, it glows through bandages. I know it's under there. Staring at me. Yeah, some of the other children have started calling him Timmy Three Eyes. Jesus Christ. glasses, that's five. There's too many eyes, Robin. <laughs> oh, whoever wrote these is fucking great. He looked at me with his one eye. 
and love. Love as he burns. It sounds very traumatic. Do you have nightmares? Oh, right, that's you, quite do you? enough for Timmy? us to do. Come in here with your camera, but I make a bark and a last supper. You won't have it. Okay, just cool. Just a couple more questions. Timmy, do you think you will ever be what we can call normal again? And from now on, you've made him cry with all three of his eyes. Daniel, made him cry in all three of his eyes. I really love you again. So there you have it, Megan. Just one of the many victims of an indescribable tragedy that has shaken. Oh my God. Thank you, Robin Harrowing. Holy shit! I have many questions to be answered by Sophia Remington in the coming days and months, I'd wager. How will she turn this crisis around? So, Jeremy, what's the warning signs consumers should look out for when they're spotting a dangerous toy? Well, Megan, experts advise to always. I thought he would swear. Advanced mark, which guarantee a level of safety and quality. Can we just get a close up on it? Camera three here. So if we take a look at this national nightly news mug, you should see the mark just on the basis of that. In the wake of the scandal, okay. the government were praised for their swift response in bringing in a set of stringent checks and new products. It certainly is good to know that someone's watching. Certainly is good to know that someone's watching. When we come back, our very own Patrick Shit. Bannon will be back. live from the sports board finals. Live Stick around. You won't want to miss it. Stick around. We'll be back after these messages. We'll be back. One minute back. Oh, sorry, I'm okay. Oh. There we go. I did it. Hmm. Megan. Yes, she is. Watch your back, Jeremy. Women are coming. I'm more worried about this water to go to my head. Yeah, it is quite stormy outside. Alex. A plus. We're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their fleshy bits about. Try oh, God. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. On the news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, over here in England, we call vaginas fannies. So, a fanny pack means a lot different over here. I mean, it's all technically the same thing, but. Sorry, me and the doctors, we don't know. Is that a cross section of a penis? God, I, I won't even know what I'm allowed to put up on YouTube after this. Okay, they're back. I have 20 seconds left in the ad. All right, I did phenomenally that time. An A plus rank. I am glad that they're not bringing in a shit ton of more features to try and keep track of. Good for the ratings. Five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Shit. I showed a no signal for a second. To the Prime Minister about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. I still see they care. You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation. Sports board. Patrick. That's right, Megan. You join me live here. Perfect. Okay, bring this back to centre because it's easier, just like tennis. Competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of Okay, this is not great editing. driving down. Stryker's known for her signature move the year, Randy Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs. Wait, what are they doing? There's so much information going on that I have no idea what they're saying half the time. The finger now, Harris. Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony taking part. Oh, they're doing a slapping contest? Still going on. All right, here we go. Of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brains. Stupid. Shit, I. Uh... Eddie Stryker. Eddie Stryker. I went to the nice wrong camera. Eddie Stryker, she's determined not to let the nerves show. Uh, not after last time. On to Mr. Right. Harris now, Tommy. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using What's he going to do? Up the ball. Using his arm to pick up the ball. What a bad shot there from uh, Harris. Okay, good, good, good. Back to Stryker. 
I'm getting the hang of it now with these things. I really wish these colors were more prominent though. As a slightly red green colorblind person, this is not great. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. What the fuck is this? A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Oh, foul line. What do I know? I'd say that's fair, but what do I know? Oh no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. So it's really not just started Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope that round two treats him a bit better. <laughs> uh, but first, of course, after the argument with the ref section, it's time to change ends. Time to change ends. Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What are they playing? And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. Okay. Striker giving it large. All right, my editing during this segment is fucking garbage. Oh shit, there they are! No, no, no! There we go. There we go. Keep on the angles that are good. All right, keep an eye on it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we do. I'm doing great. Okay. The viewers are going back up. That's good. Harris. <laughs> this is so bald at the moment. How much of a thumb screw? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. <laughs> This all striker. seems so dumb. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. Of course, the ground sound. The what? Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. Excellent bit of play here on both sides. <laughs> of the what the fuck is happening? I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical master in this play here absolutely blooming jaw dropping. <laughs> what are they jaw doing? The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. In, uh, Harris's neck or head. And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start for Tommy Harris. <laughs> uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course. I've always said that. And after Did he lose? Two halves, uh, four rounds and several sub -genres. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. Sponsored by Remington's Fist. Oh my god, there's six minutes of this left. That's music here to start the half time show. Okay, another posh post to lose on the court. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, keep an eye on the lights. Running around here with his genitals on display for all to see. There we go. There we go. I'm a legend. No nudity. Ah, I saw nudity. Ah, damn it. How did they record this without laughing? Ah. Um, Shit! Really, me, not I'm trying my best here, man. It's a lot to take in. Okay, halftime show still going. I am getting a terrible rating for this one. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because of science, we can't. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Not bad. Not bad. Well, that ball boy's giving me the eye all the way day. I think it's going ball boy's giving me the eye all the way uh, Striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. She looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. All right. I need to keep an eye on the lights, but... God, what I wouldn't give to be that ball. I'm all right, ladies. God, what I wouldn't give to be that ball. Right, <laughs> Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. And it dribbled down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because of course if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Okay. Back to striker. I don't know what the fuck is happening. The fact that this game is so weird means that I have no oh, idea which cameras to change to. There, but of course, perhaps and yes, Harris has come in with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course, we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely <laughs> gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the. Oh, I lost viewers. Shit. It's because they just keep busting out these random ass shits and I don't know which one to go to. Here we go. Tommy Harris. Okay. Tommy Harris. That's alright. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the lights at this point. They threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good idea. Very clever there. Very clever there. 
Perhaps a little contact caution from the referee. Which means, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Ellie Stryker. Ellie Stryker. All right, what you got, Stryker? The nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You came to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, Jesus. There's still three and a half minutes to go. Why are you here? Why are they allowed back in? Okay. I mean, there's only so much to do. Um, they, they're sort of everywhere, aren't they? Uh, they, they right, yep. I'll, I'll try and carry on. Um, the players are... There's titties and ballies the everywhere. Because, um, these protesters are... Uh, hopefully we can get them taken off soon. If we can carry on with the match. Oh, oh, God! Okay. Shit! Yes, yes. There's too much going on, yes, man. Very good. Take them away. Yes. I saw the red flashing and I was like, oh, I have to press it. Absolute wasters. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, jog on! <laughs> jog on! It's an absolute bloody... It's an absolute bloody... Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, it's <laughs> Tuesday, the final round is a mine round! Who could believe it? I wonder it? if the developers actually acted in some of this, because this is fucking great. Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris, who really could go in at this point. Um, a really high level play here from two hands from jog on top of the sport. Back to striker. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. Uh, about time, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two minutes. We can handle two minutes. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. Uh, she's uh, juggling it around from her hands. Wait, she doesn't even have a ball. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like it, as if it was an egg. And now she's and she's spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on, uh, from Stryker. Uh, but she's in it to win it. What? Like a carb on it. On it. Like a carb on it. What? What is happening? What do we do? Uh, Having a bit of beef, uh, Tommy Harrison. Having a bit of Jesus beef. Christ, this is so confusing. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, I'm not sure if he hasn't had his potassium or um, what's going on I'm today sure with him. Had his or... <laughs> and he's throwing it, and the banana was the ball! What a fantastic move there from Harris! <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic. There we go, Jeremy. That is over. How can he look his eight year old son in the face tonight? What a loss. Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Okay. Stay on this camera. God. Of the first annual sports board championship. Sports board championship is. Striker. Striker. Yeah. Everyone! Everyone? What? I lost viewers, but these were all oranged out. Sports Championship. Um, God damn it. I'm going to be celebrating tonight with my wife and children. Uh, another wonderful victory for me. Uh, uh, to collect their medals. Uh, their what the fuck is happening? And thanks again for watching the uh, Sports Board Championship. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Um, looking forward to celebrating tonight. Um, oh shit. All I always have to say, Jeremy, is oh, God. in the studio. <laughs> Patrick Bannon had an extraordinary fight. His story is the water coming in? I didn't know you were a fan. Yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. When we come back, Jesus. I'll be live with Prime Ministers Julius Salisbury and Peter Clement, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. That's coming up after these messages. One minute back. Fucking microphone shot me. What? Fucking oh, okay. So the water me. came in and started fucking up guy? my system. But because I have to switch between the cameras, it blocked off Everything some of them, okay? so you have to be smart oh, about it. Damn! Trying to kill us now, apparently. You'll be fine. You're unshockable. <laughs> I'm immune to you. Should I turn on the fan? I'm Air out the down. zone. Movement again. Just heard from the chaps in maintenance. Yeah. The storm is causing the power surge. Some of your controls might be a bit, uh, I figured I would get a, a bad grade on that. For the sake of a perfect news broadcast, but too many in quick succession can stop the old ticker. I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. So sorry about all these buckets. We, uh, oh my god, there's so much information well, to take in need a whole new line that it's hard to listen to what people are saying half the time. We'll look into it. It's so good to see you again. Miss oh seems to be in the ascendant. It's a great time to be All right, we have 30 seconds before they're back. Oh, oh. Megan Wolf. This is stressful. She's tougher than she looks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I here? Uh, here with Mr. Clement on your left. Right you are, pet. Right you are. Oh, these are the people sending us the mail. You'll see. Julia and Ten Peter. Seconds, everybody. No, mine's fine. 
had a little accident. She's a cow. Five, four, three. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Cullors. We're fine! Welcome to the National Nightly News, Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't. Jesus Christ! It doesn't seem very advanced. We're delighted to be here. Now, firstly, I should ask how you feel about the oh, people that's been springing up uh -oh. across the capital. Should we be worried? Oh, no. No, you uh -oh. definitely Come on. shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal penalty anyway. But, yes, it does seem mm. there are still some people. Fucking we hell. haven't been able to help. You know, whinges most. You know, people who get to benefit from the many advantages. Okay, I've got to get a horrible grade during this. You know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who just don't know how to be happy. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about, okay. and how we can help. Find out what they're angry about. The door to my government is always open. So it's dripping on me. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts okay, projects. Okay, which we no doubt will have funded. No when we want to talk to the nation, I'm going to be miserable at this segment. Exciting. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make, but they were being surprisingly secretive about it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Oh, okay, it's not usually how it works, but <laughs> what scares you? I mean, really scares you. I mean, really scares It's okay. She's talking about you. We're all afraid of You're our talking deaths. about it's death. Part of being human. Of death. Sorry, part of being are you saying that advance have Sorry, cured death? Shit, I lost a ton of viewers. We hope we found a way to make it much less scared. And much less painful and much less expensive. Not much less okay, this is hard now. When I was 13, my mam came and got me from school. We used to go to the hospital. The granddad, he collapsed that morning, so we'd all to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him, we were all frail and pale. I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before, and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Peter, he said, Come on. It's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I, I love. Okay, there we go. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. Nope. He lived with us for nine <laughs> miserable <laughs> years <laughs> after that. <laughs> he had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there in the lounge while we were watching football. Oh, perfect! He wouldn't even wait till half time. He wouldn't even wait till half time. Oh, it was awful. It was awful for us. And this is the point. Shit. It were awful for him. It were awful. They could see it was destroying me, man. Watch him slowly fade away. And he would beg her okay. to turn off. Am I doing okay? I feel like I'm doing horribly. Of course she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the okay. children. Ah, uh, my viewers are shit, but... No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. No family should have to and suffer now, like no family will have to. And now, no family will have to. The health service is today opening the first the of 300 new transition centres. The transition centres will handle everything for your last okay. days. Okay. Legal, okay. financial, medical and emotional costs. Oh, all God. Paid for and paid for by the government. So, even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when... I'm doing okay, right? Choice is important. I mean, this, this is, is pretty high. Only for people this who choose it. Only for people who feel they run their course. And people who don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline. Fucking hell! Are you okay? I don't know. I'm an asshole. Are you still on the air, Peter? Yes. Okay. Okay. Are you worried? that this new system might be open to abuse? In what way? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got a sap to get. Can I get a little bit of that? Please! <laughs> that the older generation might feel somewhat... Jesus, I lost your face, fucker! That one was massive! No, that one was massive! Sorry, that the older generation might feel somewhat coerced. 
Joe Erston to spending their final days <laughs> eating gourmet food and drinking wine. This is so stressful! Luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of having that grandmother with a rough dick twat by the Prime Minister, please get your language. Go get yourself sorted out. Right. Okay. We're launching a government information film tonight. It should tell your viewers Jesus everything they need Christ, to know. Jesus Christ, this is so stressful. Really I'm... breathless pace. It's hard to believe you've yet to be in office in here. Oh, Megan. We're only getting started. We're only getting started. And on that note, thank you both so much for being here. Oh, my God. Gerald, for being here. Right. Yes, um... That's all we have time for tonight. Thank God! Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm yes. so um, stressed congratulations out. Congratulations to all the winners at the Sports World Final. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. Tomorrow night. My name's Jeremy Dawson. You can have a peaceful night. You can. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Good Lord! I was doing so well, actually. My viewers were actually pretty damn high. I don't suppose there's any way this could be a, a good thing. It's for my nephew, so let me transition the moment I start the leak. Wait, did I die? Am I dead? God, the lightning and then all the stuff turning off? What? Oh, is that the end of the game? Because it is only early access. Shit! How did I do in the end? Oh god. Yes! You know who we are. Yes! You've seen our symbols on your walls. This is what I wanted! We are the resistance. And it's time you knew the truth. What do you mean I can't say that? Advance is lying to you. How can we help you if we don't know who you are? We are getting reports. Oh. Oh God, millions of deaths across the continent. Doesn't your family deserve a nutritious life? Understand this, there is something wrong with the food. No more! I've had enough of this shit! Shit, man, it's gonna get so good. That's what I wanted was some sort of Illuminati kind of weird Hi, shit. Hi, I'm Dan. Harry. I'm Andy. Lame. I'm Jay. Really old. And I'm Alex. Unbelievable twat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for playing our game in Early Access. Uh, it's only through your amazing support that we can tell the awesome story that we have. If you've enjoyed it, and we really hope you have, then please tell people about it. Or maybe leave us a review on our Steam page, or come and talk to us in the discussions. It really does help, and we do read everything mm -hmm. obsessively sometimes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much again for playing, and we'll see you, see you in, in episode, episode two. two! Oh, hell yeah, that's delightful. Ah, oh, and that's clever as well. Damn! I didn't know the early access was so short. It's like two hours total. God, this game's really good. I'm I'm quite enjoying this. I I was saying that in the first episode, I would love for it to take a turn, that there was something else going on in the background, and it was going to get a little darker and a little seedier. And now seeing that that's actually what might, well, what is going to happen, and people will die and everything, that's cool. There's like a whole element to it outside of just the gameplay. The story that's actually going on is really cool too. Damn, God, that was really fun. I, I did miserably during that section, but can you blame me? There was so much going on and so much to take into account. Jesus, oh, but it, it's still really fun to play. I really enjoy the battling the systems and doing all that element, but then the stuff that's actually happening, it could so easily be cringy, the news broadcasts and the videos going on in the background, but I found it hilarious. I thought it was really funny. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of those segments, and it must be such a blast for them to record those and write them and script them out. Oh, but yeah, if you do like the game, then go absolutely support it, buy it if you can. It's still only early access, I don't know when, uh, part two is coming out. But go wishlist it on Steam, go buy it, go talk to them, go leave a review if you've played it. Anything to help out a developer like this, because they seem like they really care about it. And putting themselves out there, and it's a unique take on something like this. And I really enjoyed it, and I, 
I'm really glad that they take like live action stuff and actually like script it out themselves. They didn't take like broadcasts that were already done, which I guess you can't because copyrighted. But they they built their own broadcasts and hired actors and everything and wrote scripts. That shit's cool. I like that. Man, what a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode and enjoyed watching the early access so far. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the game down in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos and more games every day and give me some suggestions on what we should play next. But until then, I will see you guys next time. God, I am emotionally drained. I feel like I just ran a mile.